Good day viewers, Walter here. Today I was wondering can an old dog teach a new dog or a young dog new tricks? And you've heard the expression can an, an old dog can't learn new tricks. But today we're going to see if an old dog, namely me, can teach a young dog, namely some of you, a new trick. I'm going to show you what I've been working on here lately. Some of you creators out there might find quite interesting. Okay, my friends, today I'm in YouTube. Uh, I'm right here on the YouTube homepage. So let me click and let's go over to YouTube Studio Beta. Now I, by no means, can tell you with any great authority on how to do this, but you, I'm going to teach you enough that you can get interested in it and perhaps learn yourself. Now I made some changes to a couple of my videos today that you as creators might find somewhat interesting. I just scrolled down here and picked one at random. Let's see, I think I went to... Well, let's take this video right here. Uh, NS train M18 departs Jenkinsburg. I'll click uh, play the video first to show you the changes that I, I made. You're real fanning with Walter today. All right, this train coming on out of the pocket here. Jenkinsburg is. Gotta stop the sound. I can't hear myself think. I'm going to show you what I did to this video that many creators will find interesting. Now, right now, rather than put you through the torture of watching a whole video of something you've already seen, I'm jumping up here to about the, let's say, 7 minute and 20 second mark, and I'm going to start playing from there. I can unmute it. See, what I've done here, I added a... A video that people can click on and watch one of my videos uh, over here is a video they can click on and watch my most recent video this one here was one of my real opinion with Walter videos I see right now I should have moved it up to the top instead of overlapping part of my picture but I'll just show you anyway so you're a you're a viewer, first time viewer of this video, and you get to this point, you can see the video is almost over. So maybe you'd be interested in watching my most recent video. You click that. Let me start it playing. Anyway, when they click that in the video, it'll take them straight to that video. Now I'm going to show you how I did it. Now, I'm an editor, so it wouldn't actually take you over there, but it'd work uh, when YouTube gets the video processed. So let's take a, a video that we want to add an end screen to. And I've just learned this myself today, so don't hold me to being exact on how to do it. Let's take Fire Ants Follow-Up. I made this video some days back. Right, I'm going to click on the video. Now in this screen, you go over here to Video Editor. Click on Editor. There's a lot of things you can do with this video that I don't know how to do. You can trim your video. See it's loading down here now. You can trim your video. You can cut things out of it. But at this point, I just want to add an end screen. That's what I'm teaching you today. Uh, I personally have to learn how to use this editor, but I use Corel Video Studio a lot, and pretty much my videos have already been edited. But if you want to learn how to edit your videos, that's where to go, right, right there with this trimming section and stuff. So I'm just adding the end screen. It, this window here pops up, and you got several different ones. I haven't learned them all. Let's just pick one. I can add two videos playlist and one subscribe button 
near the end of the video which would probably draw some people into watching some more of my videos so let's click that one and click apply so this screen here is getting close to the end of your video uh, looks like I can put we'll try putting that video down in that bottom left hand corner where the house is um, this round one here is a subscribe button let's put it over there and the video best for the viewer YouTube can pick one out or you can pick one of your own videos that you want to promote I'm just going to let YouTube pick out one best for the particular viewer to watch now I'm going to click save no I don't want to click save let's go to preview where the heck is preview well you can do preview when you're editing your video I don't know if you can do preview here or not I'm going to click save saving these changes will cause your existing video to be updated the action is irreversible it may take up to a few hours to process these changes during that time viewers will see your current version of the video and you will be unable to make additional changes while the video is being processed you are free to leave this feature and edit some other videos i'm going to click save video is being processed in a few minutes or however long it takes youtube this video fire ants follow-up is going to have an end screen and i'll show you in next i'll show you the end, the video with the end screen added all right viewers it's only been a very few minutes and youtube has already made the changes to my video i'm back in my video editor um, i'm back in youtube youtube studio beta i'm going to play the video for you and show you the changes that i made to my to my video uh, fire ants follow-up so I'm going to click play and I think some of you creators will find this one very interesting uh, well worth your time to add these end screens if you're trying to promote your channel I'm going to stop this commercial part so at this point I'm just going to stop the video you don't need to watch the whole thing let's jump down here to about eight minutes and six seconds that's pretty close to the end of the video and i'm going to click play now, now watch what watch what i added here to the video see here it just popped up i'm going to stop the playing so i don't have to listen to the sound here's a video option where they can watch my most recent video on the left and here's one that youtube just picked at random that they might want to watch destroying ant mounds so let's say uh, at this point they realize they're close to the end of the video and this one attracts their attention so let's say i'm going to start playing again and then see if we can play that video see it jumped right into that video and so you can intrigue viewers that are interested in watching your video to watch another of your videos and I kind of like this option I'm going to work on several of my videos to add in screens to them maybe one of these will learn how to stop the sound so I won't be talking over myself but anyway you get the general trend of what I've done here and I hope some of you find this interesting in get out there and try to add in screens to to your videos thank you for watching my friends